Sister Debbie versus Sam George. Sam George versus Sister Debbie. They keep going back and forth. These two people, no, obviously, they don't like each other because they are on different sides of the law, different sides of the coin. Sam George is pushing the anti-LGBT bill. Sister Debbie is fighting against it. And because of that, whenever there's a topic of dragging Sam George, or there's a topic about Sam George on the timeline, you will find Sister Debbie there replying. And whenever there's something about Sister Debbie too, you'll find Sam George making a comment about it. So these two know, the way they've been going back and forth, what is the genesis of their beef, if there's even a beef? Now, Sister Debbie posted a video from long time ago when Sam George was rubbishing any conversation about gay and lesbian and whatever. He was saying that there's no time for all those things. The media should not pay attention to those things. Now there are more things to talk about. Now, Sam George has changed everything and Sister Debbie posted a video about it and that has led to a big debate. Now, some people are saying this whole anti-LGBT bill that is going on, no? They should blame Sister Debbie for causing it. I have the full gist for you. I'm the headless city by the headless reactions. I like to say, So apparently, once upon a time, if you mention anything about gay and stuff, Sam George will tell you that the media is focusing on the wrong things. Now there are so many things to focus on like developmental issues, getting drinkable water, electricity, and other issues that, you know, concern the Ghanaians. And so people should even stop talking about LGBT and stop giving it a attention. Sister Debbie posted this video on Twitter on 1st March. And the caption that she put there is, Riley, your man, they cash out. Trying to say that right now, it's like somebody is paying some judge to push this whole anti-LGBT agenda. Meanwhile, back then, he wasn't for the motion. Watch this video. The very last platform I would speak about this matter. I hope myself too. I, I, I believe that this matter mm. has been overflogged and it is being pushed just to suit a certain parochial political agenda. See, mm -hmm. irrespective of my personal opinions on homosexuals, mm -hmm. The constitution of this country remains More supreme. Force, please. The, the, the constitution remains supreme. And the constitution of this country enjoins mm -hmm. that everybody has rights and that their rights must be protected. Mm. It's actually one of the preambles to the constitution of the Republic the of Ghana. Declaration the International, of international of Declaration rights. of the Rights of Persons mm -hmm. and all of that. You know? And so the point is the constitution determines that every human being should have rights. Okay. It doesn't go ahead to break down no, if the human kind of being <laughs> should be straight or, 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 or gay. That, that is for the country to determine, individual now, countries. Yes, that is for individual mm -hmm. countries to, to determine. Look, Ali, I believe that the amount of time mm -hmm. we have, and this is a challenge to the Ghanaian media. Mm. I think the media is the fourth estate of the realm. Of course. And they have a duty of entertaining and educating people at the same time. Okay. Entertainment, they call it. Mm -hmm. We must pick, yes, we must pick issues which are of necessity to the Ghanaian people. The amount of airtime we have wasted, mm. I call it wasted, not spent, talking wasted. About gays. Talking about gays. When we have pertinent issues of water, pertinent issues of power, mm. we have potential petrol prices going up. Mm -hmm. Look. Those are the things which bother the, the uh, 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 Ali or, 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 or uh, 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 what? Everybody, uh, the everybody, truck pusher, everybody, the shoeshine boy, the, the, Kaya you, Kaya you. Akwele who sells Kelewele mm -hmm. or, 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 or is it Enyonam uh, 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 who is doing anybody? Bush County. Bush County. Look, those are the, the issues. Beans. They don't care whether the president's friend is, the president's friend who published his book mm -hmm. is gay. No. Mm -hmm. they, want to, they want to have portable drinking water. They want to have electricity mm -hmm. when they turn on the switches in their homes. These are the things we must be discussing. How, as a country, we can have consensus and move forward and solve these problems. And you see, for me, these petty issues... Hey, is this the same Sam George that we know today? <laughs> 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 I, the same Sam George that we know today, who is pushing the Family Values Bill and Human Sexual Rights Bill, which is also known as the Anti-LGBT Bill. Hey, so that means years ago, if you talk about these things, you say, no, 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 the media is focusing on the wrong things. There are more pressing issues, like electricity, getting to the masses, drinkable water, like developmental issues, that the media shouldn't waste their time debating about all this LGBT stuff. But now that some judge has turned, what happened? 
Now, Sister Debbie, after making this post, came to post another thing and said that this man right here made LGBTQ very popular in Ghana. So you guys should stop saying that someone else is pushing anything down your throat. He chose LGBTQ as his main and only project for his constituency. I read and learned more about the letters when he decided to make it a hate bill. So according to Sister Debbie there, it is because of Sam George that this whole LGBT has become very, very popular in Ghana. Everybody is talking about it. At first, they were there, like the LGBT people were there. Nobody was talking about them. Nobody really hated them. Nobody, you know, it wasn't public like this, like the way it is now. It is Sam George who has made it popular. And then I remembered an interview I saw somewhere. Bolare was asking Sam George that why is he doing all these things? And Sam George said that he, dear, he doesn't care about this gay and lesbian thing so. But the reason why he's doing it is because they've taken their private perversion and taken it into public. And somebody like Deborah Vanessa has gone to a school called North Legon Little Angels to go and tell children that boys can love boys and girls can love girls. Watch this video. And for those who say, why is Sam George interested in this? Yeah. I am absolutely not interested in what you do in the privacy of your bedroom. It's not my, it's not my business. So then why, why this? Why the? It is because pe these same people have taken what is their private perversion and are bringing it into my children's classroom. Not Legon, Little Angels. I mentioned what happened them there? on the school. Not Legon. Yes, lit Little Angels. What happened in that school? They take somebody who calls herself an influencer and a so-called me social media celebrity takes her to a school to sit with children aged 8 to 11 and tells them that it is okay for them as boys to love boys and girls to love girls. They did that here in Ghana? Yeah, in Ghana, not Lego, Little Angels. Which celebrity is that? Uh, call yourself Debra Vanessa, whatever. Debra Vanessa? Medical's ex, no. Yeah, I mean, that's one love uh, sister. Yes. Let's say that, yes. Yes, one love sister. Yeah. From Virginia Tech. Mm. She goes and what she's doing is grooming. She told the yes, the video was there and they posted it on on Instagram. Now the school after the backlash has taken the video down. Did the school seek the permission of the parents for that kind of education to be given to their children? This is you see these are some of the things that are making me and my blood boil. How can I pay fees for my child to go to school? Now these people think that their whole their whole life must be defined by what should be a private moment of this when you bring your privacy into public policy i have an opinion to share. now with this a lot of people started saying that hey if this is the reason why sam george started this whole anti-lgbt thing then it means all the lgbt people should go and blame sister debbie because she's the one who has triggered sam george to start these things <laughs> electricity and portable drinking water and then you went to go and talk to children about this thing and now it has triggered some judge to come and bring this whole issue up because of you sister debbie so right now everybody should stop blaming some judge and start blaming sister debbie that's what people are saying or people were saying so now alatiari sat down and said a chain chain when was this interview with some judge and when did sister debbie go to the little angel school and when was the bill introduced in Parliament? Let's do the titration and see whether it tallies. Now we all know that the bill, the you know, uh, Family Values Bill and Human Sexual Rights Bill was introduced in Parliament by Sam George in 2021. That was when it was introduced. And then the career day that they are talking about, you know, after some research, we found out that the career day for the Little Angel School was in November 2022. So if the A uh, sister Debbie went to do the thing in 2022 and you introduced the bill in 2021, how are you blaming sister De Doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> I, I don't know. But um, upon investigation there, we found that the career day was in November 2022, specifically 11th November. We may be wrong, we may be right, but yes, this is the 11th November. That was when they did the career day. And I think that was the day that Sister Debbie went. Unless maybe they did one be in 2020 and Sister Debbie went. If not that far there, then the timeline is not timelining at all. <laughs> I, because the bill was introduced in 2021. Sister Debbie went to the school in 2022. And then a, um, 
the interview with Bolarin was in 2023. But then people are looking for the video. Now where is this video that every day Sam George is talking about? That it is this particular video that triggered him to go and put the bill in parliament. We found the video, but then the part that uh, Sam George is describing, it is not in the video. This is a live, uh, um, live stream of the video on Sister Debbie's live. And somebody recorded some parts of it. Watch this video. Some people argue with you that, oh, we have only these two terms. We have only man. We, have, we actually see that we have different types of humans. Am I lying? No matter what you call a person, no matter what, you can see sometimes a boy from being three years old, four years old, he's girly. We have different types of people and you have to accept because that's what you see. So I feel like we shouldn't, boys, I can see you, we shouldn't discriminate people for how they've been created, how they've been born, who they are. That's the same as people being racist to us black people, black people, mm -hmm. because we are black. Do you get it? Because you didn't ask to be black, right? Or you didn't ask to be Asian. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, so for me, that is my reasoning. We don't have to judge, especially if you are religious, if like you're, you're a Christian. What did Jesus do? Jesus loved everybody. Jesus Christ who lived and died. He said, let the children come to me. Did he judge the prostitutes? No, he did not. And the same thing that he was doing and fighting, fighting for, he was persecuted. It was the, the same people that say, oh, we are Christians, we are this. No, but when he was saying the truth, they didn't like it. And they killed him, right? Yes. But we all say we are Christian or we want to be Christ-like. What is Christ-like? You don't have to judge. As long as the person does not hurt you or harm you, whoever they identify as, whatever they decide to do, as long as it's not touching a minor, right? Not stealing, not hurting anybody. You have no right to judge them, to harass them, to bully them. And I always say to the people that are like fighting, discriminating against queer people, they say, oh, but we are protecting our children, really? Now, in this video, Sister Debbie is not heard or seen explicitly saying that boys can love boys and girls can love girls. That part of the video there, according to San George, you know, the school posted it on their social media and they deleted it. So right now, the video we are seeing, it just proves a few points. It proves that number one, indeed, Sister Debbie went to Little Angels, uh, not Legon, Little Angels. Indeed, she was there. That means what Sam George is saying, no, it's true that she was there in the school. And if you listen to the topic that she, they, they were talking about, it's like, you know, it's around this whole gender, tolerance, sexuality kind of topic. Around that side. So that means it's true that she was talking about, you know, the, uh, around that topic. But so far, there, there's no proof that she explicitly said that boys can love boys and girls can love, like the way uh, Sam Joyce said it, you know. That side of the video there, it is not on the internet for now. We are still begging. But then this video, it just shows that Sister Debbie is preaching tolerance and, you know, trying to talk about such, it is around the, the, the same topic. So it may be possible that she said it and it may be possible that she didn't. Whatever it is, you know, we are still digging and looking for that part of the video. But then Sister Debbie came to respond to this video when it came out and she said that, who paid you? Teaching tolerance on career day, answering questions the children asked me in the presence of eight school authorities and on my IG life is now a crime. Shame on you. This is what Sister Debbie wrote. Right now there, she has not also come out to confirm or deny and to say that, I have not told children this. She has not said it. And there is no proof for now. So whatever it is, media, we are waiting. But then, this is the video that, you know, it means she was indeed in the school. And she was talking about that topic, like, in the ballpark. But specifically, the video where Sam George was referring to that, that was what triggered him or pushed him to come and push this whole bill in parliament today. That part of the video is not available. What do you think about this whole thing? Share your views in the comment section. Do you think Sam George was, he already started the agenda before Sister Debbie brought the thing and he's just using Sister Debbie as an excuse? Or you think indeed Sister Debbie, what she did is not, is not good? 
And also, do you think Sam John is right for being angry at Sister Debbie? And do you have a problem with what Sister Debbie was telling the children in the video? Share your views in the comment section. Let me know about it. Watch other videos on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,